Yes. Um, so the Fillmore Graves company that took over Max Ranger, um, they're kind of like a Blackwater s military company, and they'll come in. They're a big, big come in, They're a big player in the third season, and um, they kind of open up the the world of zombies a bit for us. And they introduce Liv to and Clive and Major to all zombie to there being a bigger world of zombies, more zombies than we knew about, and how other people, how other zombies have been living during this time. And it's a uh, it's a kind of key factor in things percolating as far as zombies and humans go on, on the show this season. Um, in season three, there, what Fillmore Graves is saying is, a day will come when humans discover we are out here walking among them and they will try to exterminate us. Um, we are preparing ourselves for that day. We are arming ourselves, training ourselves. We're going to be ready for it. And the question to live and to major um, is when that day comes, whose side are you on? And it's not an easy answer. And um, in some ways, they may feel too militant for live. But as season three progresses, the secret of zombies' existence are, is going to spring some leaks. And, and it's going to appear that that day is coming. And... Uh, and Liv has to make a, a decision. But the cure's changed, obviously, because Ravi's led to believe that it now causes amnesia. Um, and so it's, again, not back to square one again, you know? It's, it, it erases your memories. Um, so that's gonna be another one of his focuses, is trying to figure that. Yeah, I, I hope so. I hope so, I think, I think, Maybe if he starts remembering, stuff will come back to him. I mean, he obviously has the same skill sets, you know. And he's pretty uh, ruthless, as, as you said. But, you know, that tactical takedown of Mr. Boss's guys. Um, uh, so, and I don't even think I knew that he had that in him. He, he, always, he always had guys to do that stuff for him. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, that, yeah, that would be cool to see if it, like, it just slowly unfolds. But... You know, that's a Rob and Diane question. I don't write the stuff. <laughs> I think um, it's the rug has been pulled out from under her a bit. She really thought she had the finger on the pulse of what the zombie scene was and who were the bad guys and who were the good guys. So I think knowing that there's this whole other underground zombie world is definitely very unsettling. But I think Liv is wise enough now, thank you, and that she has a good counsel now with Clive and you know, Ravi and Major and Peyton all in the know, and Blaine, um, you know, that, that she has people that she can consult with before she does something rash, because I think it, she doesn't know yet. She's hedging her bets about what film or graves are. It's definitely very suspicious. Um, Vivian Stoll doesn't seem like the kind of girl you'd want to bring home to your parents for dinner, but uh, but it's it's not black and white to her. I think she doesn't want to antagonize anyone too quickly. I, I think it's a it's a fun dynamic. Uh, what it brings is the fact that there's no more secrets and lies between uh, him and Liv and their relationship. So I think there's going to be any element of trust they've had before. I think it becomes stronger, especially with her saving his life, killing Drake on his behalf. Um, but now he has a bigger goal outside of you know solving crimes. Um, it's about helping to stop this zombie apocalypse. He's seen, he's seen the worst of it, um, but it was contained. And I think he can only imagine if, if we weren't in this Max Rager basement on some sub-level, if it were to get out, it would be a nightmare. So I think he has a bigger purpose. And he also made sacrifices for that bigger purpose so far with giving up his career, um, his, um, his girlfriend, and essentially now just becoming more of a pariah at the police station. So it just, there's so many things and juicy elements to play with as an actor. So I'm looking forward to it. Peyton was kind of excluded from Liv's apartment because of not being a roommate yet. Um, it, it, it's been this little journey of, of seeing her slowly learn more and more and more about the zombie world and, and how the brains work and kind of being fascinated, I think, by the visions and wanting um, Liv to experience visions and wanting to get information out of them. There was that one episode where she turned into a stripper and kind of like, hey, like, I need to break this case. I need to know what you just saw. 
Um, and I find that really funny and hilarious that she's almost living vicariously through Liv. Um, so I think you're going to see more of that and more of Clive and Liv and her helping solve a case, whether it's, you know, me giving paperwork and information that I know that I'm only maybe supposed to know as a DA that, that they shouldn't, you know. But I think that between the three of them, they're going to be able to work more closely together because now the cat's out of the bag with Clive.